Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick palmistry video here in regards to reading the thumb. Now, after some practice, you can probably tell more from somebody's thumb than a lot of the other lines on their palm, but I'll show you some basic details on how I like to read the thumb. Now, there are two different schools of thought that I have found where you have will, logic, love, or logic, will, and love. Now, I read the tip of the thumb as will, and I have had pretty decent accuracy about that. So I will show you how and why I feel this way. Now the thumb is our most flexible of um, digits. And as you can see there, I actually have a double jointed thumb. But the, the thing that we do with the will at the tip here is showing how pointed some thumbs bend all the way back. Sometimes they are a little more broad. Mine are still quite pointed. I have what they would consider a psychic's hands where all my fingers are very long and skinny and rather pointed. Um, on the thumb here, I actually don't have too many distinct lines, but it comes down to the shape and the angle of the thumb when we are looking at it. Because mine does not bend back, mine is not pushing anything down. When I show people that have a very pointed and angular thumb, it's somebody that's very pointed and angular in their will. Usually somebody that's pretty headstrong, bullheaded, call them what they are. And now that's only for this top knuckle. And you see I drew the line here between that top knuckle to the tip of the thumb. I don't have any significant markings. I have some pretty standard lines on there. Nothing too particular to talk about. I'm a pretty malleable person, honestly. And that's evident here on how the shape of the tip of my thumb is. Now we go to logic and logic is from that crease where the thumb connects to that first joint. You'll notice mine's a little bit larger than the will section, not by too much. So that shows that I'm a little well balanced. It's not just my way or no way. It's more of a balance between this is what is right and this is what I want to do. The difference between these two sections and the size are going to be pretty evident along with that headline that we've talked about in another video. Now, again, because it is a little more, um, a little larger, that does go to the side of logic. And this is usually the area of the thumb where you will find a lot of extra lines. I don't have too many. I actually have quite a few chains here along the bottom. We'll get to that in a second. Now, I do typically wear a thumb ring, so we're going to ignore these two large ones. But I do have an area here, and there's another decent line over this way. And sometimes you'll even get, like, the full hash all the way across. Now, when you get people that have a lot of lines like that, those are people that compartmentalize everything in their life. They like to put everything in a box, and those boxes do not mix. They do not... Um, interact you have your family life you have your work life you have your friends and usually those groups simply do not get together i don't have too many i have two very distinct ones those tell about my personality in that sense now again this line here between logic and love i do have quite a few chains now this again will tell you that i'm the type of person that is going to really struggle with what is logical and what my heart tells me to do. Usually my heart will always win out and I, you know, will find the logic within that. Um, you know, a, a lot of chains here shows that struggle between the, the heart and, and the headline. And this line, again, would be evident down here near the bottom. So in our love area, this is the really fleshy area of our thumb. Now, it doesn't follow the lifeline necessarily. Sometimes we have a double lifeline. This is just the fleshy area of our thumb where a lot of the muscle is there. And now on my thumb, you will notice, and if we can get the lighting just right, I have a whole bunch of fine lines. That makes me a worrier. Plain and simple, these are little lines and I actually have them crossing this way too. These are people that worry about their family. You know, family's a priority. Their relationships are a priority. The people in their life and all aspects. They worry about everything just for the sense of worrying. It's usually somebody that's going to have like a generalized anxiety disorder. And we'll just call it out as it is. Um, 
this area, if it is well defined, that's somebody that's very open to love. Some people it's very thin. Those are very closed off people to love and relationships. This area right here correlates very strongly with the heart line. So again, if you if you notice the will, logic, and love very well describe the head and heart lines and the lifeline, how stubborn you are, how far you're going to go, how you plan things out in your life and where you fall romantically. If you don't have a full palm or if you can't read a lot of the markings or if there's, um, you know, just struggling with light for an instance, the thumb is always an easy task. You can almost do an entire reading simply from the thumb. Now, again, I took my thumb ring off so that it's easier to read, and I would suggest you do the same thing if you have other people that like to wear thumb rings because they can have more lines and things like that underneath, um, freckles and whatnot. Over time, I've been wearing this thumb ring for forever, so you will notice over time that simply just wears a band. That's simply from wearing jewelry. I wouldn't read into that too far. But it goes down again to flexibility. How far does their thumb bend back? I have this double joint right here, oddly enough, between logic and love. And there's that flexibility that I try to hold in my life between the two. And it's not a smooth move. It's a quick pop into that second joint. That shows you that it's kind of a one way or no way. Or I, it's going to work out with love, but I'm going to make it logical in my own head. It doesn't have to matter to anybody else. So those are just a couple quick little tips, small things about me and how I like to read the thumb in a palmistry reading. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave me a comment below. Um, if you're looking for a palmistry reading for yourself, you can order one at Kelthart.com. I will add that link below. Go ahead, like, and subscribe to help me out and keep my channel flowing. And I hope you appreciated the video. I hope you learned some insight from it. Thanks again. Take care.